Hello everyone, it's Diane. I have two small junk journals to share with you today. The measurements are four and a quarter by six, almost seven. So they're, they're small. And they're both done with this um, kind of book. The J.M. Dent E.P. Dutton and Company um, this is a very, very old set of books that I had gotten from the library when they were getting rid of books many, many, many years ago before I even heard of junk journals. I just had them in my collection. But they were falling apart, and I didn't want to get rid of the books, so, of course, they got turned into junk journals. One of these books is a custom order. It's this one. Um, Renee from GT Designs on YouTube. Um, wanted this book cover, The Ring and the Book by Robert Browning. And unfortunately, when I tried to reinforce the spine, it just tore right off. This one was in better shape. It just felt sturdier. It's, it's slightly darker, so I don't know if they came out of the same printing or not. But anyway, um, this one, the, the binding was much sturdier, and so it survived. I'm going to show you Renee's book first. As you can see, I took the spine and turned it into a bookmark. I decoupaged it to some pattern paper and put Mod Podge on the front of it, put an eyelet in it, and some silk ribbon. In the past, I've done this with cardstock on the back, and this time I use pattern paper, so it's still it's pretty flexible. I kind of like it that way. Tell me what you think. And the spine is only an inch, so I increased it to an inch and a quarter. It looks more like more than that, doesn't it? So maybe with the rounding of it, it looks like more like an inch and a half. But I know I cut the cardboard an inch and a quarter. Yeah. And then there's a piece of canvas. There's the chipboard, Tyvek, and a piece of canvas. There are two signatures stitched in. It's just tied with the seam binding. It's not attached at all. And here is the embossed emblem on the front of the book. And I just rubbed a little gold on it and gold around the edges, the Inca gold um, paste, gold paint paste I guess it is. I did some stitching around the edges of the canvas before I glued it on. There's a lot of vintage in here, many, many vintage pieces, because the book is so vintage, and uh, Renee likes vintage, so we went with a vintage theme. The inside um, end papers are very pretty, but it did have the library label on it from the Athens Library here, my local library. So that covers up part of the design, but I left it there. I thought Renee would like that. Just put a little bit of trim here. There's a piece of pattern paper covering the spine on the inside. This is a page that was uh, in the front of the book, and I trimmed it to fit and just glued it on there. Poets are the trumpets which sing to battle. Poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. And that's a quote by Shelley. This is a piece of fiber that I will be carrying in my shop. I don't know if it'll be in there by the time I get this video uploaded, um, but I thought it was very interesting. It's got some sequins on it. It's got this more woven part here, and then this open netting. Probably can't see it very well, but... So I have this in here a couple of times in the book, and I have it in a couple of colors. I have it in three colors, actually, so it will be listed in my shop eventually. Here's coffee dyed pattern paper and a couple of pieces from old books. This is from an old book about um, propagating plants. So there were a, a few illustrations that were nice and then this is from a book on trigonometry and an old stamp and I collaged them together and then just glued them down there. This is a vintage ticket. The ticket this ticket given with each one dollar purchase so I'm not sure what that was for, but it's a pretty lavender vintage ticket and a vintage milk bottle cap that I found. I bought this from a seller on Etsy, and I bought this at a flea market. 
This is a vintage ledger, a billhead paper that I also got at a flea market. And this was from a flea market. It's the Sailor's Portland Cement. And this is just coffee dyed tissue paper or tracing paper with a floral vine stamped on it. And it's stapled with some copper staples. This is a piece of patterned cardstock that I received in a swap, a uh, flowish swap. I folded it over to form a pocket here and it's stitched. These are just some paper scraps. None of this is vintage. This is just punched and those are stamped. And this is a scrap of an offcut of the scrapbook paper and a vintage prescription. and a vintage playing card. And I just used a paper clip on there because they kind of slide around in there. Coffee dyed paper again, and these are some tabs that I made with my Cricut. These are a pain in the butt with that cut out to glue the piece inside and then fold it over with this little tiny edge here and then glue it it was a pain in the butt. I probably won't use them again, but they're in both of these books. They look nice. And there's a stamped hand, stamped border. This is a piece of vintage ledger paper from a little small ledger book that I have and a Smokey the Bear stamp. This is vintage notebook paper, filler paper. And this is from a Polish music book. And there's a piece of fabric and a little piece of lace stitched to it. A little um, glassine bag that came from my mother and journaling. So I ha used some journaling cards in here that I, they're digital. I purchased them from Victoria Designs and they're really nice. I love the journaling cards that they have. Um, if I think of it, I will link their Etsy store below because you should check them out. Vintage index card that's cut to size and rounded and a vintage ticket, which I got from an Etsy seller. I'll try to um, figure out what Etsy sellers I used in this book and link them to. This is an old Rook card, which I received in a swap. And here's one of the Victoria Designs cards. A vintage... Um, I call it ledger paper because it's got the number, but it's not really ledger, it's just lined paper, but it's got the anti-glare color to it, kind of a greenish tint. This is a just a statement form. This is not vintage. And this is from a vintage children's book. She likes the color green, and it had a green cover, this book did, so I use this page with the green colors and there's some little hearts on the edges, ends of the string. Here's the other side of that glassine bag and this is, let me get the rest of it. This is not vintage. I don't know if you can see my arm reaching here, um, but it came off a little desk calendar and it's 1996. But the, the pages are yellowed, and so they look old. But I folded it up. Here, I'll show you. I just took and folded it up like that. How did I do it? Oh, it was this way. Like this. And stitched the ends. You can't see the year, so you can pretend it's vintage. <laughs> but I don't want to mislead anyone. It's not vintage. So I stitched all around it and it's a little pocket and this is a vintage gift tag came off of I showed these in a haul from a flea market a little gift sticker I've been hoarding these because I love them but I use quite a few in these two journals I mean there's no point in having them if you're not going to use them and here is a probe letter R for Renee and then this is another index card with a tab that I made and this is a piece from a vintage songbook. Renee likes music. I think she actually said, she gave me a long list of stuff she likes. She likes a lot of stuff. 
I think she said singing. This is from an Etsy seller, Lemon and Barley Water label. I love these colorful labels. I went online looking for vintage ephemera pieces and I was looking for smaller pieces like the tickets and, and things like that. And I didn't want to spend too much money on this stuff, but I just like the little pieces for embellishing. And um, I don't remember who I got what from, so I'll try to look that up and put it below. Here's the Polish song paper with a ruffled piece of fabric. This is a piece of vintage wallpaper that was punched into a circle. And two more probe letters, N and E. Renee, do you see what I'm doing with those probe letters? Here is another stamp, Progress in Electronics. This is a stamp. This one is actually an old uh, attorney's stamp, the kind with the handle. I bought that at a flea market. thought that was neat. Not the established part, but just just the part where he would stamp his name, his address of his office. And here's another one of the vintage stickers and a sale price label that I got from Denise's shop, A Tattered Dream. Here's another page from this poetry book, the cover page, and look at that pretty picture in there. Here's a vintage um, receipt. Meredith Bottling Works, Tawanda, Pennsylvania. And a vintage playing card. Canasta card. This is something that I, I stamped with my definition stamps. And then on the back of this signature is a stamped muslin, coffee dyed muslin paper and another of the stickers. And two tick uh, tags that I made. This one has fiber that is also in my shop, and this just has some seam binding. So that's the first signature. I'll have to go through the second one a little bit quicker. So isn't that gorgeous? Another of the end papers. This was on the back side of the book, so it wasn't covered up, I think. Anyway, it looks nice. And here's another piece of that trim, or fiber. Another collage from Vintage Books. Another piece of wallpaper that was cut into a butterfly shape. I had ordered, um, Gail Agostinelli had put a video on where she had ordered some wallpaper samples, a vintage wallpaper. You can get a, a pack of a variety of patterns in different sizes, you know, just cuts. And you don't need much of it for a junk journal anyway. So I went and uh, looked up that seller and bought a pack. So she she sent me in addition to the 30 I think it was 30 pieces that I ordered 30 piece pack and then as a bonus she had some of these shapes punched out because I don't have a large circle punch like that and I don't have a butterfly punch like that but she punched them out and here's a vintage ticket here's another piece of the sailors Portland cement and a stamped iris that stapled on this just has a piece of coffee dyed shorthand paper that's stitched on as a pocket and there's a ribbon stitched on there and this tag. I'm not sure if this came from Denise's shop or not. It might have. I've had it for quite a while. There's a crown stamp there and another of those tabs. A few stamps here of wildlife. I liked, this is the selvage edge of one of the fabrics that I have, and it's Waverly Inspirations screen print. And there's a lamp post right along the edge. So I thought that was cute. Another one of the Victoria Designs cards, index card. Another sticker with some of the Polish, no, this wasn't, this is just a vintage um, school music book. A Crack the Case game sheet and then this is a really vintage book page and I reinforced the middle with a heavy duty um, patterned cardstock and some hearts again there's even some pencil markings on this 
There's a pocket with a vintage stamp and a vintage ticket that I purchased online, or yeah, on Etsy. And another vintage receipt that I picked up at a flea market. And this I found in an antique store, American Legion uh, drawing ticket. I got unused pad of them and another pad also that I think it's from the same thing but but they're different they, they look different and then here again is a pocket made out of that calendar and an E and a, another tag with music on it and then there's a collage on the back of this one from a lotto a, a vintage lotto card and another of the botanical illustrations it's more fabric here Another piece of wallpaper with the E. So we spelled R-E-N-E-E -E -E for Renee. So Renee, you can take those cards out and do whatever you want to with them. Or leave them in there. Coffee dyed lined paper. This is a piece of um, file folder that I stamped on. And it's sewn on as a pocket and it has a vintage Uno scorecard in it. Another Victoria Designs card. A fabric pocket and another little ticket or um, sticker. And this was a free printable from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And this is a ticket or um, tag tag that I made with some cardstock that I have. And this is a vintage library pocket. I covered it with paper and uh, put on another piece of. This is uh, the lyrics from the Polish songbook and another stamp and a vintage library card. So here's your book, Renee, and I'm going to have to do a second video for the book that's going to be in my shop.